What's good, YouTube? Devin 82 here, back again once again. Today, people, today we are here for episode number two of our brand new series here on the channel, Late Night Yellow, which is our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke series. It's going to be uploaded late night, at least late night for me. I know for some of you guys, different parts of the world will be uploaded at different times, but it's pretty late here for me. Hector and the girlies are asleep. Well, minus one. Sadie's in here with me right now. Sadie girl, hi baby. Oh my baby girl. But yeah, she's in here, but I'm sure she'll be slumbering here soon enough. So the idea in the series is that most of the time we're loud as shit. Uh, and super obnoxious, but it's late night. Everybody's asleep, so we have a little bit more of a chill vibe with this old school nostalgic feel. Or at least that's how I feel. That's what I'm going for. Um, if you guys are hyped for some more late night yellow and want to show your support, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know it's greatly appreciated. Uh, in the last episode, we had a pretty rocky start. <laughs> I do say so myself. <laughs> no pun intended, but pun intended. Wait, shh. It was a pretty rocky start. <laughs> uh, but let's get a quick team recap. We have our starter, Sasha, our Vulpix, who is rocking Ember and Tail Whip. And then we have Leonard, our Machoke, who's level 12, rocking Karate Chop, Low Kick, and Leer. Now, we did do a little bit of grinding in between episodes. I got them both up to level 12, at the very least, because we did raise the... Uh, we did a what's what's the actual term for it? damage modifier level modifier whatever um it's by 15 percent so like if a pokemon would normally be whatever <laughs> level you would take uh 15 of that and add it to its level and that's like the new level it would be does that make sense it's too late for me to be doing this much math any time of the day is the wrong time for me to be doing math um, so I did have this thought um, that I kind of, A, should get that encounter south of here since I'm here now, and B, I kind of want to fight blue before I carry on, uh, because I feel like once I go through the forest, I'm not coming back, like, for anything. <laughs> I don't care if it's to fight him or not. So... I don't think we got our encounter here last time. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I have fucking Pokeballs right now. Uh, I'm not mad at it. I have one Pokeball. One Pokeball. I can't even click Ember on this thing. It will die. It will die. Um, it's gonna have Gust. Yeah, it just gusted me. Do uh, you think a low kick's gonna kill this Butterfree? Okay, good. <laughs> Flinching Butterfreeze, though. <laughs> oh, but I don't think I can hit it again. I think the next one is definitely going to kill. <sighs> I don't think it's going to stay in this ball. I can't look. <sighs> well, I guess that was a good... Just just for GP. <laughs> I critted him anyways. I was going to say, I guess it was a good effort, but I definitely should have checked to see my Pokeballs first. Um, I don't know if I want to fight Blue yet. You know what? Fuck it. We're just YOLOing things, aren't we? We just YOLOed that fucking encounter. Lost it. So let's fucking YOLO this battle with Blue and hopefully not lost it. Because there's no more encounters I can get until I beat Brock. Are you serious? There's no more encounters I can get until I beat Brock? Because there isn't one in Pewter City. I can't get an encounter. Route 2 is still Route 2 on the north side of Viridian Forest. And you can't leave Pewter City until you get the gym badge. Oh my god. Should I fight Blue right now? Make a bad choices. Make a bad choices. Hey, Nappy, you're going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Oh my god. These are all the parts of this game that I'm going to miss because I'm about to lose. Okay, he only has two mods. Oh, level 11. 
This bitch is gonna put me to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna Ember, because A, I want the damage, and B, if it puts me to sleep, then I'm swapping, and I don't, I didn't want to swap and have my Machoke put to sleep right away. That would suck. Yo, I just totally ran into this battle, no idea about my potion situation. Why? Why do you have to put me to sleep? Why? Wait, I think I set the thing for him to carry a starter throughout the game, so he should have a Voltorb right now. But I want to see. I don't have any potions or any awakenings. Please, on everything, do not click sing. Are you joking with me? Are you? I have to keep it quiet. I have to keep it Happy that Leonard woke up. Voltorb. Excellent. No, I'm not gonna swap because we're still asleep. Um <laughs> so we have cut cough just now. Um, which reminds me, I was trying to explain the story of how I got sick in August by sharing my trip to Tulum, but got caught between a rock and a hard place at the end of the last episode. <laughs> Pun intended. Um and I only got through the first day of our trip, but I'm so happy that we got through this battle with Blue. Ah, you just lucked out. Yeah, bitch. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. <sighs> okay. Excellent. But yes, still sick. Um, getting better. Getting a bit better. Oh. Pain runs deep, my boy George. Um, but I'm getting better. Um, every day I feel a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. I'm done hacking up stuff. You know, I'm only only have coughing fits like two or three times a day now instead of like 14 times a day. Um, but yeah, we went to Tulum uh, in the Yucatan. It was great. It was wonderful. It was awesome. It was excellent. Um, the first day we went to Chichen Itza. I was telling you guys about that. Um, in the last episode, can we even buy anything? Okay, so we don't have any encounters until after. Dang, I gotta stop killing encounters. Oh, can't do that. Uh, do I have anything at all I can sell? I'm not gonna sell my antidotes. Not yet. Hey, fuck it. It's better than none. It's better than none. But yeah, we went to Chichen Itza on the first day. I told you, I explained about that in the last episode. Um,. On the second day, we went to the beach. <laughs> I was trying to think how I wanted to word that because there's an explanation to it. So our hotel was on a beach, but we unfortunately went during the middle of seaweed season. I always want to say algae and it's not right. I think it's seaweed or... Is there another word starts with an A? Not algae. Something. In the middle of something season. So basically there's like <laughs> 25 feet of this like dead seaweed sitting on the beach. <laughs> so I mean you could still go to the beach. It was still nice. Um, but it just was not. It was not what it was supposed to be. It was not what it was supposed to be. Um, so we ended up going to this other beach all the way back in Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and that was great. Oh, I found a full heal. Fuck yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. There's fucking Needle Kings in this grass. Get the fuck away from me, bro. That reminds me of... Hold on. Hold the phone. Just for a moment. Okay, it took me a moment to find it, but shout out to Daniel Diaz. Um, for telling me there's an antidote under the tree when you first walk in. I feel like I remember that. Oh, was this it? Because I randomized it. <laughs> it's an ether. But you know what? 
I could sell that bitch and buy some more podions. And I could do it in the blink of a fucking eye since it's first gen. Did you see that? Already back in the fucking town. <laughs> Already back here. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Especially because I need this goddamn moolah. Excuse me. Wrong building. Um, but anyways, yes, we went to Playa del Karma instead, um, because that's a, it's a bigger beach, it's more popular, um, so, are you joking me? Are you joking me? You cannot sell ethers? You get no money for it? Are you joking me? Huh. Um, okay. <laughs> a for effort. <laughs> whatever but yes yeah, so we went to playa del carmen bigger beach it was super duper dope some of us went parasailing some of us didn't um but it was honestly just a dope time I, that was one thing i said i really really wanted to do i mean i really really want to go to chichen itza too but i was like you know what we're going to a beach town you know we're going to a beach place like i want to spend at least a day just on the beach i ran out of pokeballs to catch pokemon with you should carry extras Let's go, bitch. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on. Let's battle them. Um, but yeah, it was just awesome. I loved it. I loved it so much. Uh, got home and started watching videos about, like, brain-eating amoebas and stuff like that. Which, luckily, they're mainly fresh water. Um, but, you know, automatically, I'm thinking of all the different water I got in this past weekend. <laughs> oh, my God. I can only imagine what's crawling all over me. A magic carp? Okay. Well, this is a duo run for the most part for right now because there's not much I can do until we get past Brock. I just really hope that Brock does not come out the gate swinging because that might be the end of us. But I'm fighting all these dudes. I don't care. I will go back and heal too just to get more PP. Oh, because this is a... It replaced it with a Pokemon of similar strength. So the Caterpie got replaced with a Magikarp. <laughs> Alright. A Max Elixir. Can I not sell that either? Shit. Um, but yeah, so we went to um we went out to eat every night as well. You know, we were trying different places. Some places around our hotel, other places up and down this little uh beach strip that we were staying at. Oh, I wish I could have had that Needle King. Oh my goodness. Do I need to? No, 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 no. What am I thinking of? Hey, let it is 13 too. Okay. This is gonna be the best. All right, bro. Get these bugs out of here. I'm tired of this bug out event in Pokemon Go too. I'm glad I think today's the last day. Get it out of here. I ain't getting no shiny bugs. I never get the new event shiny. Shiny Venipede? No, not me. Didn't get it. Wouldn't be me. Slowpoke? Wouldn't be me. Um, but this new event coming out for this TCG Championship seems kind of interesting. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I was actually planning on doing some Pokemon Go vlogs on the channel as well. I was in the middle of talking about Tulum, and now here I am talking about fucking Pokemon Go vlogs. Alright, put a pin in Tulum for now. We'll come back to it. Oh, thank that's exactly what I needed. That is exactly what we needed. Oh, fuck. Um. But yeah, I was gonna do a Pokemon Go vlog for Community Day that just happened for Galarian Zigzagoon. It's crazy. I got like 15 <laughs> Galarian Zigzagoons, and it was so funny because I got like a majority of those in the first two hours. And I was like, you know, when I play, I normally go for one of each, like Zigzagoon, Lanoon, and Obstagoon. You know, if I get those three, I'm happy. You know, I, I've considered a successful community day. Um, but then sometimes, you know, once you get four, you kind of want to go for six, because then you have two of each. Uh, you at least have a little bit of fodder to trade with here and there. Um, I really want to double check. It still says Route 2. Uh, 
I like how it puts me behind Viridian Forest because it didn't code route to above it, like in the later games. Oh. Damn. Okay. Well, I wonder if it'll still be the same stuff as on the bottom side of the route. I guess the answer is no. I guess the answer is no. Should I have waited to catch a Pokemon? The answer is not no. Tentacruel, Porygon, Persian. Wouldn't have minded that. Not at all. Oh well. Pewter City. What's poppin', bro? How are you? How are you feeling? I mean, if Brock by chance has all rock types, then we'll be good to go. We got a low kick in Machoke. Um, but yeah, I was going to do a vlog for Pokemon Go Community Day this past weekend, Galarian Zigzagoon. I was talking about the fucking shiny. Uh, getting six. I got, yeah, I got like ten or a dozen or so in the first two hours. And I looked at Hector and I was like, you ready to go? <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't really need to play anymore. Yes. It's hard work. Oh, if you only knew, bro. Um, so we kind of left the spot that we were chilling at to go and uh, run some errands and do some other things. And in the last, like, hour, I got... Oh, this motherfucker taking me to the museum. Unless I can get that Aerodactyl. I ain't interested, bro. It's right here. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. Um, so yeah, but the last couple that I got, they just spawned. Like, I was just playing because I still had incense on and popped up. I was going to do a video for it, but um, I, mean, I don't know. I wanted to include, like, the research uh, and all that. And I had that done in, like, the first 20 minutes before we even got to the spot that we were going to go to to play Pokemon Go at. And I was like, damn, I didn't record any of this. I didn't do any of that. Um, but that's why I have a Pokemon Go Instagram which is linked in the description of every video. I post shinies, hundos, all that stuff. So um, Pokemon Go vlogs may be coming back in the future. Um, don't hold your breath. I'm going to say that. It's something I'm definitely interested in trying to bring back to the channel, but I'm in no rush, if that makes sense. If you want to get a Pokemon Go fix from your boy Nappy, head on over to Instagram because that's where all the shit goes down. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this goddamn nugget. Oh, I can't put price on that. Can I sell this? Nope, we can't sell the Max Elixir either. either. Okay, first things first. Um, I want to check. I want to double check. I know I don't have much. Two antidotes, full heal. Okay, I'm going to buy a burn heal. I'm going to buy two Awakenings. I'm going to buy two Paralyzed Heals. You know, I should just get the other burn here. While I have the money, I'm going to do that. I have the Antidotes. I'm going to buy an Escape Rope. Actually, no, I don't, need to, I don't need to get that just yet. I was thinking ahead for, like, Mount Moon and whatnot. But, you know, like, if you ever seen me play through a, a Nuzlocke on the channel before, you know I do this. Every the first time I go to the Pokemart, I always stock up on like the absolute basics. Shit that when you need it, you never have it type of shit, you know? Cause you think, oh, I'll find an escape rope somewhere. Oh, I'll find some antidote somewhere. Or I can get it later on or whatever. And then when you actually fucking need it, you know, like you're in the middle of your plus 15% Nuzlocke. <laughs> And you don't remember that you actually up the difficulty and you're in the middle of Mount Moon and need to get the fuck out and you don't have an escape rope. Like, I'm sure you can find an escape rope on Mount Moon somewhere, but still. Um, the potions I'm going to scoop up right now. I think I only have one. So I'm going to take that and spend a majority, actually majority, all of it on that. Um, just because I'm kind of nervous about this gym battle. Um... And whatever money I get from this gym battle, I need to, um, put towards Pokeballs. So I kind of sort of need to not spend all of, let's see, ah, oh, this single bag is going to drive me crazy. I need to kind of not spend all of my... 
potions? I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Uh, I'm stuck in this now. I have to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know this episode is all over the place, but I have to do it. I'm sorry. Okay. I put the potion first because I need it first. You know what I mean? Like in a battle. I'm not trying to scroll through my fucking bag to find the goddamn shit I need. Um, and then town map because I'm... Not that I'm going to use the town map that often, but it's like a key item, you know? I feel like it should be chilling there at the top. I like how we're just very, very casually... This is a real chill fucking let's play. Just went right into this fucking gym. <laughs> like it's fucking nothing. Hiya! I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in the match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon matches, by changing the order of Pokemon matches could be made easier. Okay, all right. I mean, I don't know if this is a rock type gym or not, because it's randomized. Uh, so I don't know if I should leave with my Machoke or my Vulpix. Are we doing this again? <laughs> Are we running this back? Uh, should I have leered him since he defense curled? Hey, we got the flinch, and we got the flinch, and we got the flinch, and we got the, and we got the, and we got the flinch. Hey, we ain't scared of no Geo dudes anymore ever again. Paris, oh. doubt of myself. Should have led with the machoke. Doubt of myself. Should have led with the machoke. Who's spicy? Like, who's spicy? Look at my little such a mama. Level 14. Darn. Light years in time. It measures distance. I was wondering about that. Hey, thanks for that, Moolah. I'm definitely going to. Oh, you didn't get no damage? Okay. Definitely going to spend it on some Pokeballs, bruh. Um, okay, I guess I should save my game here. Because, you know. Only you can prevent lost save death. <laughs> so make sure. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. All right, Brocky boy. All right, Brocky boy. Show me your best. Pansy. Oh, wow. Pansy wants to fight a Psyduck. Ooh. Okay, um. A little bit scared? A little bit scared? Scratch, okay. Oh, I have to remember that this is. Um. Gen 1 Psyduck. And not. Like, they have less moves, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why the fuck I click Karate Chop. I need to move that. <laughs> it's another thing that I always do. I always, you always gotta move your shit around. Abra? Uh. Well, I'm, I, I have to swap. I can't leave Abra in. I can't leave Abra in. I can't leave Sasha in against Abra. I mean, Leonard in against an Abra. I was gonna say, I hope all it has is teleport. But on the off chance, it has confusion. Oh my goodness. Special is one stat in this game. <laughs> okay, well, we may have gotten off a little bit scot free here. Not gonna lie. Uh, the fact that. Oh, what is this? An Onyx? His ace is an Onyx? Onyx got swapped out with an Abra? Can't be mad. I bought all them goddamn potions. Give me my money back. I need money for Pokeball. <laughs> I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Read the screen. Read them and weep. My baby Sadie's laying down. Mm, she getting comfy. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, my. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's bear, it's bear's Pokemon become more powerful. The technique Flash can now be used anytime. 
1485. What is that? <laughs> Two Pokeballs? Wait, take this with you. TM34. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains metronome. This motherfucker must watch Renegade Platinum. Oh my god. Wait, I don't know if that's a spoiler. <laughs> the way I record these episodes, sometimes the recordings overlap each other, like before. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm not cutting that out either, okay? Don't be mad at me, because I think it's fucking hilarious. Oh, Metronome, no, I'm not doing that, bro. <laughs> For whatever reason, in the limited move pool in this game, they decided to include not one, but two moves that kill your Pokemon <laughs> instantly, and I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested. But hey, can I just point out, we got through Brock with just two Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, I know one of them was an Abra that only knew teleport, but you can't kill my vibe right now. Can't kill this late night vibe. Um, okay. Could I sell Metronome? Because honestly, I'm never going to fucking use it. It's just going to take up space in the bag. A thousand dollars. Excellent. Okay. We didn't use any potions either. Look at that. Check, check, checkity, check, check. Check. Oh, I wish I had a little bit more moolah. But alright, we're good. I think we have 14 Pokeballs now. So we're going to heal up and go get this next encounter. Um, so, unpinning the Tulum topic, we went to Playa del Carmen, spent the day there. Some of us parasailed, some of us didn't. Uh, but it was just a fucking blast just to get to go on the beach. And plus, that was in a whole different part of Mexico. Uh, so we got to see all new hotels and everything, which, you know, me, like, I love all kinds of stupid, goofy shit, but looking at the crazy hotel designs and the colors that's used and whatnot, like, it just blew me away. It was great. It was awesome. It was excellent. Uh, the day after that, we kind of just, uh, meandered a bit, you know, like we, as you're out and about doing things, you pass shops and you say, oh, I want to go in there. I want to look at that. Um, so we kind of just wandered around. We wanted to go to this cenote bar. Oh, shit. Oh, the encounters aren't here yet. I'm still going to fight this one. Um, went to the cenote bar. Had a fucking blast there as well. Um, just everything about the atmosphere, the vibe. Everything was great. Got back and had a lazy night. <laughs> um, it was just dope. It was just chill. It was dope. I loved it. Um, but the last night we were there... Um, well, I should say every night we were there. Um, they had this... The hotel room we stayed in was like this little tiny cabana. And they had these like... I don't know. Why, why don't we have quick attack on Sasha? Come on. The fuck? Um, but they had these like industrial like <laughs> AC units in every room. They weren't industrial. They were just uh, new, I guess. They were like brand spanking new. So them motherfuckers was pumping air. Like, ooh. Um, so I, I think I have like circulation problems in my arms and like my extremities because my hands and feet are always cold. My fingers and toes are always cold. Um, there's some nights where like if I sleep in the wrong position, which I mean, I guess, you know, anybody could cut their own blood vessel off, you know, to like make your arm swell up or whatever, you know, like imagine you got a ring stuck on your finger and then your finger swells up because of all the blood. Well, there's some nights where I'll wake up and, like, I can't move my arm. And I have to, like, literally hold it up in the air. And I can feel the blood, like, drain out of it. And then slowly feeling will come back. Anyways, I'm really, really cold in my extremities all the time. And Hector is, like, lava boy. <laughs> it's probably, like, uh, a 0.2 degree difference in our body temperatures. And it just means the world. But he is like a little lava boy. Like you can put your hand on him and you're like, whoa, why are you so fucking warm? Oh, I need that grass. I need to get to that grass. Like, whoa, why the fuck are you so warm? But on this last night, 
uh, well, every night we had this AC unit blasting. Um, I cannot figure out how to work this motherfucker either. They had a, they had this button on this remote for this AC unit, and the title of the button was healthy. What the fuck? I don't know what healthy means in regards to an AC unit. Um, <laughs> but on the last night, I woke up on the last day, and my throat was really, really like sore. Um, and I could, I just thought that it was because of like breathing in that super frigid cold air uh, all night long. Um, and I don't know. I was just hoping and praying that it, like, I felt a little bit better throughout the day. And then by the time we got on the plane, um, it was like obvious that it wasn't just from the AC unit. I'm so tired of embering magic arms. <laughs> Come on, yo. I'll ember a Caterpie. That's fine with me. I'll ember a Kakuna. I'm fine with that. But by the time we got on the plane, like, it was obvious. It was apparent that it wasn't, like, just, or at least just because of the AC unit. Like, I had actually caught something. Um, if you guys have been... Oh, shit. Hold up. Leonard. I'm glad your teeny's attack missed. I'm glad your teeny's attack missed. I'm not glad my attack missed. But if you guys have been following for a while, you remember... Um, I have horrible sinuses, so horrible fucking sinus issues all the time, and I was really nervous about flying back with the uh, change in air pressure in the cabin. You know, I feel it all, like the moment they close the door on the plane, I can feel like my sinuses just like, whoom. <laughs> um, but we got back safely, everything went fine. There we go, Sasha learned quick attack. She's got the zoomies. Okay, now I have to go back, I'm sorry. As much as this game has been kicking my ass and as little money as I have, I'm not spending a fucking paralyzed heal when I can go right up here and heal and zip the do day right back. Um, but yeah, I think I had a sinus infection the first day. Um, Hector and I went and got at home COVID tests and they came back negative. Um, but for like the whole first week that we were back, just my sinuses, like I could wipe the like if I were to wipe my eyes or something you know like that I could feel my face like reinflate <laughs> or at least that's what it felt it was just awful awful for no reason and nobody else on the trip got sick Hector was a little sick like day one but that was about it <laughs> after that he was good to go Our sand attack means nothing, nothing to me. Um, I love how Sasha is just doing the damn thing, leveling up, doing great, wonderful, awesome, excellent things. Um, but it just sucks because I have to get a Firestone. Damn. Um, uh, but yeah, I was sick as a dog the first. Uh, we were back in the second week. It kind of like moved into my chest um, and I was just coughing and hacking up stuff and it was just awful It's the worst when you're in public and you're trying not to cough so That's like when you get hit by the absolute worst cough um, I'm feeling a bit better feeling a lot better actually um, So we'll just have to see how things go <laughs> Hopefully I don't need any additional medical care and I can just fight this off on my own. Oh, this is so annoying. How did I know this is gonna happen? Leech life. Don't do it, Leonard. Leonard. Thank you, Leonard. Ah, that was the one thing I was worried about using Leonard. Is that there are a lot of Pidgeys and Spearows and shit over here. Is he still up front? Yes, he is still up front. Okay. Okay, okay, let's get you out of here, buddy. Another Metapod, let's get you out of here, buddy. Alright, so I just wanted to let you guys know it's not normally my intention to make these episodes this long. 
you know, late night yellow is just supposed to be like a little chill vibe, a little just a little <laughs> here, a little bit of there, whatever. I don't know where I came up with that shit just now, but um, I think I'm gonna wrap today's episode here. And tomorrow night on late night yellow, we will get our wrap three encounter right here. If you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to show your support, definitely make sure you hit that like button down below for us because it's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for your love and light. And uh, until next time, or until the next episode, same thing. Be safe. I'll catch you next time. Bye.